During your private pilot training during the knowledge portion, you're going to have to know how to calculate latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude is a way we can calculate an exact location based on how far east or west or how north or south a location is. Latitude is in reference from the equator towards the poles, our northerly and southerly direction. So 30 degrees north in the northern hemisphere is 30 degrees north towards the North Pole. Longitude has to do with east and west from the prime meridian. This is in a line that goes from one pole to the other right through about through the United Kingdom. On the opposite side of the world, because the longitudinal lines keep going around the world because it's a spear, on the opposite side, we have the international date line. So once you cross over the international date line, it switches back and forth between east or west, depending on which direction you're going. From the prime meridian line, if we go westernly, we go towards the United States. So the longitude would be measured in west. If we go east from the prime meridian line, we switch over to east. Of course, that switches as we cross over the international date line on the opposite side of the globe. The way we measure latitude and longitude is in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, don't be confused, that doesn't necessarily mean it's time-based, that's how we use it, quote-unquote, as a form of a decimal. For example, there is 60 minutes in an hour, so 60 minutes is, quote-unquote, one whole. So let's say in a location is right between 14 degrees and 15 degrees, instead of saying 14.5 degrees, we would say 14 degrees and 30 minutes. 30 minutes is half of one hour, so that's how we would read that. Instead of breaking it down by decimals, we break it down by minutes. Think of it this way, halfway between an hour is 30 minutes. So let's take a look at some real life examples you'll probably see on the written test. Taking a look at this sectional, let's say a question asks you to calculate where the latitude and longitude is of Garrison Airport right here. We can calculate either one first, it doesn't really matter, but make sure you don't get them intertwined. We're calculating two separate values here, a latitude and a longitude, so don't get them confused. Let's start with latitude first, or how far up and down, how north and south the location of Garrison Airport is. We can see the line of latitude here as this solid black line with these hash marks on it. Now, there's not a ton on this page because we're pretty zoomed in on this section of the sectional, but we're looking for a degree on one of these lines going across. If we go up to this line right here, we can see 48 degrees. So this means this is our 48 degree of lateral going up north because we're in the northern hemisphere. Now we know it counts up from the equator, so as we go up, the degrees should go up. A key thing to note though, is we skip every other line. So if we go down to the line below this one, you'll see there's not 47 degrees here. The degrees go every other line. So that means this line down here is 47 and a half. It's actually halfway between 47 and 48. We can't see the 47 degree because it's off the chart at the bottom though. Now remember what we talked about, 47 and a half isn't spoken as 47 and a half. We say it in minutes and seconds. So halfway between an hour is 30 minutes. So this line right here is actually 47 degrees, 30 minutes. I know you can't see it going down the screen, but if we were to count all the lines in between 48 and 47, all these little hash marks, we'll actually be able to count 60 hash marks. Well, technically 59 because the solid line would be 60. Remember, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so each one of these little hash marks represents one minute. You can see the lines get a little bit bigger for the five minute marks, and they get a little bit bigger for the 10 minute marks. Helps make counting a little bit easier. So now that we know 48 degrees is up here, we know this one is 47 and 30 minutes, we can now count all these little hash marks up to Garrison Airport and line it up and figure out exactly what line of latitude it is currently on. Remember, this line right here that goes across the whole screen is 47 degrees and 30 minutes. So if we count the little hash marks going up from there, starting at 30, we'll see that we go up about another nine, almost 10 hash marks to make it 39 and roughly a half there, 39 and a half minutes. Now we could also specify, because remember, we're counting in minutes and seconds, that this is 39 and 39 minutes and about mm, 30 seconds, because it's about halfway through there. We're counting the hash marks as minutes and seconds, not decimals. Again, just to repeat, going from this line, which is 47 degrees and 30 minutes, counting up these hash marks, which are each a minute, we can count up about nine and a half minutes up, adding half of a minute, which is 30 seconds, 
bringing our answer to our latitude of 47 degrees, 39 minutes, and about 30 seconds. Now that we got our latitude, we needed to get our longitude. It's calculated the exact same way, except we're just doing it horizontally now. Remember, we're in the Western Hemisphere, and this means we're measuring from the west of the prime meridian, so the numbers count up as we move left. We'll again take a look at the lines going down the, our sectional here, find the vertical line, and we'll see we can find 101 degrees on this one line. Remember, every other line is a degree, so this next line to the left here is 101 degrees, 0.5. We don't say it as 0.5 though, we say it in minutes. So this would be 101 degrees and 30 minutes. Exact same technique that we just used before, we'll count the number of hash marks going over until it lines up with Garrison's airport and we'll have the longitude. Counting our hash marks going over, we'll see that the line comes to about 25, 26, what is that? 26 and a half. So remember, these represent minutes. So instead of saying 25 and a half here, we're gonna count this as 101 degrees, 26 minutes. And it's about halfway, so maybe about 30 seconds. Again, the whole thing together, 101 degrees, 26 minutes, and 30 seconds to get our longitude. If we wanted to further prove this and make sure we did this right, let's hop in Google Maps and actually type in this latitude and longitude and verify it's correct. Pro tip, if you want to make this, the degree symbol on a Windows keyboard, if you hold down Alt and type 0176, it'll make a degree symbol. But anyway, let's type this in and see where it takes us. Popping it in, you'll see we land right at Garrison Airport. It's a little off because we weren't exactly precise, but that is how we calculate latitude and longitude. Let's do another example. Say we're actually given the coordinates and we need to calculate which airport is at this coordinates. Let's say we're given 32 degrees, seven minutes north and 81 degrees, 12 minutes west. Which airport is this nearest to? Well, we just work backwards. We already know the latitude and longitude. We just need to go pinpoint exactly where it's at. Let's start with the latitude. We got 32 degrees and seven minutes north. If we look at all the horizontal lines going across, we'll see one up here that we can see 33 degrees. Remember, lines of latitude count up and we know we're at 32 degrees, seven minutes. So we haven't reached 33 degrees yet. So we need to go down. Now, seven minutes is before 30 minutes. Remember, this line going across is 32 degrees, 30 minutes. It hasn't reached 33 degrees yet. And one line down is only half a degree. So we need to go down one more line. We can't quite see the 32 degree line because it's off the screen, but we can use a little bit of context here to help us figure out where this is at. See the little hash marks we can count backwards from 30 here. We can count down and keep counting the hash marks until we find that we are at seven. Now, if we look across and draw an imaginary line going across, looks like we may already have our answer, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here and let's go ahead and count our longitude. Remember, longitude is measuring from east to west, which is measuring from the prime meridian line. So the numbers are counting up to the left. Let's take a look at these vertical lines and we find 81 degrees visible on this line. So we know the next line over is going to be 81 degrees and 30 minutes. Looking at the question, we know we haven't reached 30 minutes. It's 81 degrees, 12 minutes. So we can either count back from 30 or count up to 12. Let's start with 81 degrees here and we'll just count up to 12 minutes. So if we count up 12 minutes, draw an imaginary line going across the screen, check it out where the two lines intersect is where our answer is going to be. And you'll find that that's going to be Savannah Hilton Head Airport. Realistically, in 2023, or whenever you're watching this video, are pilots still using latitude and longitude for navigation? No, probably not. But hey, it is part of the private pilot curriculum, and you do need to know it for the written. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe if you guys want to keep up to date when we upload new training videos for private pilot, commercial, instrument, we got it all coming. We're working on some new videos and we're very excited for you guys to see them coming forward. Also, I wanted to mention we now have a website. It's very minimal right now, but we're slowly starting to add some new stuff and we have some big plans in the future. So if you're curious, head over to flywithclayton.com and you can check it out.
you guys want to connect with me and a group of awesome pilots, you should also check out our Discord. The link is in the description of this video. It's a great group of other fellow aviators who just love to talk aviation. Or if you're in your training and you need help with anything, we also have a bunch of CFIs, myself included, who would love to help you with your training. Again, the link's in the description so you can join down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.